Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, because you guys requested it, I bring you guys another stunning Cyberpunk 2077 live wallpaper and home screen setup. This is going to be another one in my series on how to customize your home screen like a pro. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. So here it is, a vibrant neon live wallpaper set in Cyberpunk's Night City. This minimalistic setup is definitely one that I'll be personally using for a while. This setup is running on Nova Launcher and uses KWGT for those standout widgets. The link for these and everything else that you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now as a quick note, if you want that full screen edge to edge look for your home screen setup without those ugly signal bars, then make sure you disable the notification bar within Nova Launcher settings. So jumping right into it, those black and white flat icons come courtesy of the charcoal pack. Chosen because they're perfectly in contrast with that colourful backdrop. And speaking of the backdrop, make sure you grab this unique wallpaper from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find it there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Now let's move on to the widgets. Here, we're actually using two separate KWGT widgets, which have been positioned overlapping each other. To enable the overlapping of widgets, just head into Nova's home screen settings and you can find the overlapping options within the advanced section. So here, indicating the day and time, is the neon pink widget from the digital KWGT pack. So with this widget, we're slightly going to modify it by repositioning the time indicator, aligning it to the right hand side. The second widget, is a simple custom KWGT battery indicator which we're actually going to build from the ground up. Now you probably haven't noticed yet but this widget actually indicates the battery level in two different ways. Firstly with that digital percentage indicator and secondly with the battery text itself as the color drains from right to left. Just simply starting with a blank canvas you want to load in a text item, head into it and change the text to say battery. And to get that stylistic look like the rest of the home screen, we're going to change the font to Dancing Script Regular. And finally, you want to head into the Paint tab and change the style from Fill to Stroke, leaving you with just the outline of the text. Moving on, we want to load in a progress item, resize it and reposition it so it's perfectly overlapping the battery text. By default, this is set up to indicate your battery level. Next, you want to head into the color tab and change the filter to multiply. And then change the color using the code that I'm indicating on screen. Now as your battery charge decreases, so will the colored portion of this text. The final part of this widget is the text percentage indicator. Just simply load in a new text item and change the text to this formula. And to finish it off, just change the font to dancing script and the style to stroke. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. Follow me on Instagram and make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.